Yo, what's up guys? For today, I'm going to be trying out the Ford Bronco Raptor RLE. This thing actually feels pretty nice. It looks like it's going to be like the Fennec, if you look at it in the menu, but it actually feels a lot like a, a long Dominus. It feels much longer than uh, the Fennec. I wonder if it's a hybrid hitbox. I'm actually not sure. Maybe I should start doing the the research on it. Uh, but it does it does just straight off feel, feel a lot like a long but thick Dominus, which I guess has its perks. Um, but it's an awkward feeling car. Uh, at first play. I've only I've only free played with it so far. I just tried it for like 10-15 minutes and decided why not. Let's record a video for it. And uh, yeah, if you guys decide to buy this yourself, you can use code Squishy Muffins in the shop when you do buy the bundle. But yeah, let's get into some games today. I'm going to play some of the extra modes because I haven't played any hoops, drop shot, or any of those modes in a while. And I know you guys do enjoy when I do throw some of those in there. So let's play some. Let's have some fun with it. Let's see how it goes. I got a hoop scheme off the bat here. Pretty sure he goes, right? Because he's the pad. I always forget that. I haven't played hoops in a bit, though. I really enjoy this mode. And this mode is cool. I kind of wish it was on a default size map, though. Makes one of the reasons why it's like... It's hard to, like, justify playing a mode like this for practice when the... The arena is its standard size, but I actually would I would probably play it more often if it was it was standard size. It's a little bit smaller. The ceiling is a little bit smaller, and uh, left wall to right wall is a little bit shorter of a distance as well, I believe. So we go for a crazy angle here. Save some pads for such. The car feels actually nice. It reminds me. I was saying this earlier, but it reminds me of, uh, it's like a Dominus if it, Dominus was thicker up top, had more height to it, which is cool. But I don't know if that, if any car in the history of Rockley will ever like truly take over to Octane and what it's done for like the metas and stuff in the game. Good fakes, create a lot of pressure. I might have touched this, it's fine. I'm not gonna do anything back to my team anyway our presence kind of made him panic a bit again soft touch okay that's fine good save didn't have the boost for the double anyway i was only just trying to beat him my first touch yeah fennec is kind of was a good idea i slip it under Fennec has kind of uh, taken over in that aspect a little bit recently as the main car over the Octane, but I think it's just because it shows the Octane hitbox a little bit better than Octane does, but they're both very viable. I think even Dominus technically could be viable, it just isn't because Octane's been used for like six years now in pro play, like consistently. There's a period of time where like Batmobile was prevalent, I don't know if any of you guys played during that time, but... There was little meta shifts here and there where different cars... Wow, there's no down bounces on this map as well. On a normal map, that's a down bounce. Makes a really big difference. Timmy's gonna touch this. Is it gonna be in? Nice. Usually this curve, obviously if you guys have played for a while, you know that. That curve that goes... Uh, that the ceiling meets the top of the wall, usually it brings the ball downward. but in this map, I don't know if that's even a possible bounce. It might be if you hit it perfectly in that curve, but normal maps happens a lot more than I've ever seen in a hoops map. The car feels like nice when you're dribbling. That's the big thing that I really like about this car, because Dominus, to me, I don't feel good on the ground with, but in the air, I feel good with it. But this car, I feel like you don't lose that aerial ability too much. Like, it feels pretty nice in the air. On the ground, it actually feels like that height helps you with the dribbles as well, which is nice. I noticed that more in a free play, because this has been a very, like, aerial-based uh, game so far. Teammates going crazy. Maybe a few too many touches. She left a few of these, but... It's kind of working out off the back wall for him to keep pressure. All right, 
I have a solo play off of that. Oh, I'm for the dunk. Good idea. Good idea to go to the right takes. Had everything else blocked anyway. It's been actually hard to get a dribble going because these guys are instant challenging. Me. Another kind of disadvantage to the small map is that's a possibility. A lot easier for someone to be there. Not as much space for them to cover when rotating. Ah, oh, kind of thought I'd stay on the ground. Should wait here. Teammate. Keep trying to pass to him. I should just go for more solo. I think he's not expecting the passes. I go for a solo here. But I go to the other wall. Pinch. Oh. It was in, but not gonna be fast enough ever. No, I was trying to I was trying to steal it. Wait, did that work? Is that just him? No. Ooh. Oh, I surprised myself with that. I did not think that'd go toward the net. I'm gonna fake challenge. Make some pop it. Teammate should have a free touch. Right middle here. Try to dunk him, maybe? Close. Like, you're trying to, like, do those touches for him, but it's moved up a little bit. I think the meta in this mode, I'm assuming, is very solo based, though. So I don't really blame him. Because if you go for, like, a, a solo play like this, it's kind of broken. I feel like you're baiting them in, and one of them has to, like, full dive, full commit, use all his boost, the other guy can just wait. It's a little bit overpowered i think to to go for just nothing but solo plays but i like i like to go for the passive plays off the back wall stuff like that when i'm playing solo queue i think it's fun for my teammate because obviously i could solo everything and it probably wouldn't be too hard to win but i like to get them more involved let's play one more game hopefully it's a uh, it's a drop shot i actually want to play drop shot but i'm gonna queue hoops drop shot and snow day i don't really want to play rubble but let's uh let's queue all four maybe and let's see what we get All right, we got another hoops one. This is my ball. Do left. I'm not sure if the thing is still left goes in uh, in hoops as well. DK was on my team last game. He's going for a lot of those solo plays, so we know we can expect that. Passed my teammate off the wall. Good try. That was a goal in a regular game. Oh, is it in? Oops. Fake. He has no boost to work with now. He's gonna be really low. Let's kind of just flick it away. Denying boost is actually actually like a really important skill. That's it's really easy when you think about it, but doing it efficiently is the hard part. Like denying the opponent's corner boost, it's actually a risky thing because if you stay up a little bit too long, especially in default like twos or threes, if you stay up a little bit too long, you're actually hurting your team more than you're helping it. But it's a valuable thing in a sense that they can't counter attack you as easily. If you deny it correctly. It's actually a really big just timing thing. Making sure that you're doing it at the right times. Big challenges again. I know he wants to go for the solo play, so trying to deny that as much as possible. Teammate has a free shot here. Nicely done. Good job, good job. The car feels nice. I won't lie. You guys should try this car out. If you like Dominus, if you like Fennec, it feels very similar to like Fennec because of the look, I think. It's very blocky looking. But it's definitely longer. You can see the length of it. In the menu, it doesn't look this long. Wow, we're absolutely farming. You see DK looked very free last game, but I was covering a lot of those a lot of those gaps that uh his now teammate is not covering as much. Last game he was kinda he wasn't there for a lot of the passes I was going for, and he was going for a lot of solo plays, right? Um, and that does work if you have someone that's covering all the times that you're leaving your teammate in a 1v2 or 1v1. And I was doing that pretty good job of that. And you see how difficult it is now. He's trying to do the same thing, but his teammate's a little bit out of position. And we're, we're covering all of the, the threatening lanes that he has. Oh my gosh. I'm insane. Let me go one more time here. It's fine. Cover out, grab this boost. 
Uh, might be a little awkward. But, uh, well, I'm gonna take a little bit of risk over a bump on this guy. Trust my teammate. Ah, I can't actually get the pass mid that I wanted. My first touch here. It's not gonna be a goal. See how little, like, dangerous options they've actually had this game? And these are all good players. These are all players that have definitely reached the highest rank in this mode before. Definitely reached SSL before. We were playing DK a while back, actually, in this mode. Look at them fighting over the ball, though. Exactly what I was saying. Like, I kind of recognized early on last game... Um... That they were definitely going for more solo plays than I would expect. And, um... I don't think his teammates recognize that this game, and it's kind of hurting them. They don't have people spread out enough. Watch the high. All I can do is hit it high, right? Let's get the ball to, to lob in in this mode. So the back wall is very, very overpowered in this. Nice. Not gonna be in, but it's a good pass. Might be a goal still. Faking this for a teammate, potentially. A little bit too tough of an angle. I wanted to make it seem like I was going for the double till the very last second. Nice. Just gotta wait for his touch here. Good dunk, not gonna be a goal though. This is a moment where I think standard boost is good. That guy's gonna rotate back and he's gonna be looking for a boost. So we shouldn't be here in time, and I know that. I meant for our corner boost, which is a smart play of him. It's kind of like a, a trade, right? He goes for mine, I go for his. I double this around him. Oh, I went for the absolute, like, perfect placement on that. stuff. Might be in. Good save. Go for the bounce. Played around one. Fake this one. I'm just gonna stay near the ball, but we'll play. Doing for the bumps. Look at the threat though. Like, how many of these plays have truly been something that can go in? Probably less than two, honestly. Throughout this whole game. And that was someone that was. It looked like he was creating a lot of opportunities last game, right? But there's a lot of threat that comes with that if your teammate's out of position. I think that's a good showcase of that. Play it to my teammate's side because I can't go for a shot. Play back to my teammate again. It's fine. Ends up going back to me because he gets bumped. Alright, now we have a good opportunity. Play it off to him. Should I go for the bump? Oh, I saw him pre-jump. I should have went for solo. It was definitely a goal if I went for solo. I want to get him involved. Pick this. That's fine. Just wait for the pinch. Middle. Team should have. I believe in him. Uh oh, <laughs> doesn't have it. That's fine. All right, good game to say. Actually, I enjoyed the car a lot. I think I think the the car has actually a lot of potential, and if you obviously are a fan of Ford, and it's gonna make you like it a little bit more. But uh, it's nice. It's a little bit longer than I would have expected. I wish it wasn't as long. I wish it was the Octane hitbox, a little bit stubbier, and uh, basically just another alternative for Fennec or Octane. I think it would have been much more popular then. But because it's the Dominus feeling hitbox, I don't think it's going to be that popular or that often you'll see it. But I do like it a lot, and I think it's uh, definitely one of those cards that have a lot of potential. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. Whatever time it is when you guys are watching this, like, comment, subscribe to see us all in the next time. I love y'all. Peace.